Hey guys and welcome to a new video and I do just want to also say welcome to the Soldiers Stash series. This series is going to run just like Scouts Pouch which is a series on my channel where I talk about each scout weapon in the game with the best ways to use the weapons and also everything else you will need to know about using that weapon in TF2. So that's what this series is going to be about but it's just going to be for the soldier instead. I'm super excited for this series and I feel like you guys are going to enjoy it quite a lot. So here's the deal, we hit 64k last night after I uploaded the dumb things you all do in TF2 and that video has done insanely well so far. This means that we could potentially hit 65k way before my birthday which is the 22nd of April. We are currently like a week away or something like that and we have less than a thousand subscribers to gain. So if you are one of the 70% of people who aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you should probably fix that. Thank you. So here we are starting a brand new series and if you're talking about the soldier then the first weapon that we're going to talk about has to be the rocket launcher. Mainly because it's the stock primary weapon and also it's the first weapon on his weapon list. So the rocket launcher as we know is the stock primary weapon for the soldier. It is a regular looking rocket launcher with a protruding metal side and a wide exhaust port. I'm not really like that smart to come up with those words so you know TF2 wiki let me know that. The rocket launcher can hold four rockets in one clip, I don't know how that works, and you get given 20 rockets in reserve. This might sound like quite a lot, but if you're shooting a lot of the rockets at enemies far away and not replenishing your ammo, you might find yourself going into a fight fairly short-handed and will have to rely on the ammo enemies drop when they are dead for a refill. You can get the rocket launcher in normal quality, unique quality, strange, bot killer, festive, australium, and with all of the war paints as well. So you, the customization of a rocket launcher is ridiculous. The rocket launcher's rockets travel at a speed of 1,100 hammer units per second, and the rockets are not affected by gravity in any way. I really thought that the rockets would have a time of when they go off, it, if they get shot too far. There's not too many maps that that happens though, but they will just travel until they hit a wall, a player, or a skybox apparently, which is quite cool to know. I'm not sure why my brain ever thought there was timers on them. Probably because I was thinking about the pipes and not the rocket launcher. So the difference with this weapon over every other weapon I've covered in a video like this one so far, obviously the scout weapons, they're all hit scan, right? The rocket launcher is a bit different in the fact that it is a projectile weapon and that once the rocket makes contact with the surface, it explodes and deals splash damage in a small radius. Unlike the scattergun where you either hit the shot or you don't and you hit one enemy, maybe two if your spread's a bit rubbish. With the splash damage though, you have a chance to kill a whole lot of players if you do enough damage with literally just one rocket. So the damage is obviously at its highest in the middle of the splash, and it decreases the further away you get from the actual explosion, which makes quite a lot of sense. This is sort of the same when it comes to how far the rocket has travelled. The longer the rocket travels, the less damage it does when it hopefully, you know, eventually hits something. Except if it's a crit, then it just kind of looks and laughs at the fall off damage and deals 270 damage anyway. At long range, you should be expecting to be dealing around 24 to 48 damage, 48 being the maximum fall off. Mid range, you're going to be dealing around 50 to 90 damage, and at point blank range, you are expected to deal around 105 to 112 damage. 112 is the maximum ramp up of the rocket launcher, apparently. So, yeah. Also, while you're attacking people point blank range with the rocket launcher you're probably going to be dealing some damage to yourself so you might want to be careful and if you fire a crit rocket the absolutely devastating crit rocket you'll be looking at 270 damage which is nuts now if you shoot that onto a payload car or a point when no one's expecting it you are gonna get just a lot of kills now there are some more features to the rocket launcher that you guys probably already know about but I wanted to go into them a little bit in this video anyway. And that first one is that your rockets deal some knockback to enemies, especially if you were aiming at their feet. The rockets normally propel them up into the air a little bit which is good for potentially getting people off points or you know away from the cart or something like that. Or if you're really good, landing up an air shot after popping someone up in the air looks amazing when you pull it off. The second thing that knockback is actually useful for and the thing I wanted to talk about is rocket jumping. You can propel yourself forward by shooting your own rockets at your feet or just slightly behind you so if you wanted to get a different angle on a fight this is a really really good way to do it. This damages you a little bit obviously you are shooting a rocket at your foot but 
a load of soldiers you'll see in servers do this all the time. And it makes certain fights a soldier much easier to control and hopefully ultimately win. I'm not going to do a full on rocket jumping tutorial today. Maybe I'll put some practice in and I'll make some videos about it at a later date. But for now, you just need to know that you can rocket jump with this gun. Join a rocket jumping server, practice it a little bit, try it out, and it will be so useful for your gameplay, I promise you. Okay, so now that we've spoken about what this gun does, let's have a talk about how to actually use this gun. So, the thing with the rocket launcher is that sometimes it takes a while for the rockets to get to an enemy, right? So, shooting rockets across the map and actually hitting a target is not really the best idea, and most of the time, you're just going to be wasting your ammo. So for me, what I like to try and do is make sure that I am quite a bit closer to the enemy before starting to shoot my rocket launcher. So the travel time isn't as high and I have a higher chance of actually hitting an enemy instead of just wasting my rockets and dealing a lot of damage to the rock that is behind them. I also don't like to get too close to an enemy because most of the time, while I'm dealing a lot of damage to them, I'm also dealing a lot of damage to me. And uh, most of the time I end up, you know, killing myself unintentionally and maybe not even get the kill a lot of the time which is just even worse but yeah in my opinion keeping your distance away from the enemy while trying to hit them with your rockets is the best way to go so yeah obviously spamming a spawn door from far away is fine like if you're at the start of the round and you just start shooting at the spawn door where people are going to be coming out of most of the time you're going to get at least a couple of hits if you shoot a few crit rockets you might get a couple of kills People do that all the time, but generally in games, you're going to want to get closer to whoever you're trying to kill and not fire all across the map. The rocket launcher also works with pretty much any other soldier weapon in the whole game. You could use the shotgun for extra firepower if that's what you wanted and you're not the best with the rockets. So, you know, you have six extra bullets then to shoot at other people. You can use the gunboats if you love rocket jumping around and you don't want to damage yourself too much. And the rocket launcher works pretty much with any weapon that the soldier has available to him which it kind of has to it is the stock but it is amazing how well it works with pretty much every other item that a soldier can use personally i love the rocket launcher it is such a good weapon it is actually probably my favorite weapon behind the scattergun so it goes scattergun and then the rocket launcher is my two favorite weapons in all of tf2 the, ro the damage is solid, rocket jumping is super fun, and generally I feel like this weapon is the perfect weapon for the soldier. Like, I feel like I could end the series here and you'll know everything you need to know. Like, this gun is incredible. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you leave the video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I want to try and make this series actually, like, fairly consistent. So it's not going to last three years or something like Scouts Patch, or maybe two years. But, yeah, I'm going to try and make this series, for, like, quite consistent. So you guys will know everything you need to know about Soldier in not a ridiculous amount of time. So once again, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.